What's up guys? Cutter28 back again with the 4 Next Level Gamers channel. And if you take a look, I am playing with the guys from Checkmate once again. Our squad is in and we are going to light it up here. Now if you take a look on our ghost team, you can see all of our mics constantly going. And if you notice on the Bulldark team, there is one poor dude by himself with a mic. I just don't understand how this works guys. If you're going to play a team based game, you should typically bring a mic with you. You can't communicate with anybody if no one else on your team has a mic. Now we're playing one of my favorite maps, the Pipeline. Pipeline is very cool and I think Cab likes it too because there he is unloading. He's perched up top just on our balcony there and he's suppressing the guys. So he's doing what he's got to do to hold these guys down and we're going in taking care of what we got to do too. So all good teamwork and we're just heading in here going to capture that objective. Now getting back to this whole mic situation. There isn't a person on our squad that does not have a mic. Now that is just what you have to do. You have to have a mic if you're going to play this game. If you're not going to bring a mic to this, you're going to pretty well lose every single time because there's no communication. You can't communicate with anybody and figure out what you guys are going to do. Now we're talking constantly throughout this game of who's doing what and all that kind of good stuff. So. I'd like to give a big thanks to Arkham and the guys. Before this match, they actually brought me into a little lobby just for us so we can practice and they can show me some of the tricks of the trade. I've seen a lot of guys doing some moves and I just didn't know how they were pulling off. So Arkham, as our squad leader, pulled me aside, took me under his wing there and just showed me some of the ropes, some of the things I was missing, like I said. So some of these, I don't want to give away all of our secrets here, but some of just the typical things that saw some of our own teammates pulling off and I just wondered well what the hell how did he pull that off and why wasn't I able to do that I was trying certain things and things aren't working so they pulled me aside took the time uh, Arkham showed me the ropes and then there's Pang, Cav and I think Gear Boys that were off in the back just blowing each other up with some grenades so it was fun and I got to learn a few things too so you're only as good as your weakest player guys when it comes to the team stuff right so they're in just showing me how to handle things a little differently and some different tactics that I don't typically use so I uh, still have lots to learn I do enjoy the game I'm not a horrible player but I'm not the greatest player either so if I can learn that's even better for me so with all this pull aside and learning stuff guys I will be in probably in the firing range practicing a lot on my own just trying to improve some of the situations and some of my moves and techniques like I said earlier the guys show me and stuff so I want to be definitely practicing the more you practice, the better you get, obviously, so I'll just be setting a couple hours aside, maybe every other day or so. Now, I, I know the more you play online, the more you learn, but there's only so much you can do. If you want to learn some of the other techniques, you gotta kind of do it on your own, so I'm not going to be a pro player, but I definitely want to be a better player than what I am, so I'll definitely be putting the time in and sitting down and just focusing on certain moves that I got to learn that I feel will help improve my game and maybe I won't get a shot like that right, right there that's just crap so gotta have a better heads up and a better idea of what's going on sometimes another way to learn too is go on to the Ubisoft network there for Ghost Recon guys and take a look at the map if you want to learn the map find where the drops are for all the intel and stuff as you can see later on I'll be camping out because I know the intel was just finishing up, so I'm just going to sit back and wait for the next one to pop up. So I'll point that out when we get to that, but learn the maps. They do have um, the heat trace maps as to which class kind of likes to camp where. So just take the time to sit down and study the game. There's lots to do if you want to take it and learn further, right? So if you want to play and just go out and have fun, pop some heads, that's always cool too. There's nothing wrong with that, but like I said, my, for myself, I want to take this... To, a, to another level I guess you could say I want to be a better player obviously so the guys are showing me some techniques where to kind of sit and hide as you can see in a little bit Arkham covers my ass pretty good from an angle that I didn't even realize so he pretty well saved my life right there not in this particular situation but later on I'll show you that as well so all of a sudden I saw a couple of gunfires going off and different things and I thought, oh crap where's that coming from and then there was Arkham right behind me so always good to be uh, having some backup that's for sure So, for those of you who haven't heard yet, Ubisoft is just about to launch another DLC pack. We all knew it was coming. Um, the Kyber Strike is on its way October 9th. That's going to bring three new multiplayer maps, guys. The Switchback is coming. The Palace is on its way, as well as the Transit. So, a couple new levels for us to learn, definitely. A lot more fun. Always like having a few more maps on the go, just to kind of change up the gameplay. They're going to have a takeover game mode, 
So they're going to bring this it's a classical death match kind of scoring thing. So go around and taking out the other team, obviously, and the one who has the most points wins the game. So something else to add into the mix. Now, I know a lot of the gameplays aren't really being currently made at all, or sorry, being played at all. Um, I do like playing the saboteur game mode, but that one is hard to find players. A lot of players are just playing the conflict mode. It just seems to get easier in, uh, into a round playing that one because that's what we're constantly playing here. There he is there, guys. There's Arkham right behind me, like I said, saving my ass. So just wanted to point that out, and I get picked off. This guy took one shot from a sniper rifle and nailed me. He obviously saw I was down there and just camped and waited and shot my head off right there. So not much I could really do, but like I said, so there is more DLC coming October 9th. Definitely I will be picking that up. Now I am curious as to how many others are actually going to pick this up. I know my squad will definitely for sure. We always like expanding our gameplay. But I've noticed on the forums that some of the people are not all that sure if they're going to pick it up or not. I don't know why they're hesitating in the slightest. For 10 bucks, guys, it's three more maps. I think another gorilla mode, another game type to play. It just adds to the game as far as we're concerned. But I know a lot of people are still going, well... A lot of people feel that the game isn't all that uh, populated anymore, especially with Black, Black Ops coming out. So, myself, I'm not a Call of Duty fan, so I'll, I'm a die-hard Ghost Recon, Assassin's Creed. I'm a Ubisoft fan, guys, straight up. So, I will definitely be going further with that stuff. Be getting back into Ghost Recon, Assassin's Creed 3 when that comes. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on, guys, like I said earlier. But, yeah, let me know. I'm cur I'm just curious as to who else is picking up the DLC. Leave me a comment in the section below, guys. I want to know, how, like, is this going to be populated, or are we going to be behind it and playing it by ourselves? I'm just curious as to how that's going to be played out. So, leave me a comment, like I said, and let me know what you guys think. So, guys, I'm about to pass off the capture device to my brother, Booker140. Booker140 is going to be getting involved in doing some of the video work as well here. Uh, CSI, she'll be coming in. I know CSI is busy as hell, so I don't know how much uh, game footage he's actually going to get involved with, but between Booker and myself, uh, we'll be capturing most of it. So, But don't worry, guys. I will be doing a lot. I'm not going anywhere by any stretch of the means. So, But Booker140 asked if he could borrow the device. Uh, between the, There's four of us involved in this game business channel, whatever you want to call this thing right now. So... There's four of us trying to get this up and running, and it's mostly myself doing the capturing right now. Booker140 wants to do a little bit. I think he's going to be bringing some um, Ghost Recon as well. I think he wants to get into the stuff besides the conflict game mode that we're currently playing, like I said. So we'll see what else we can do. I'm sure I'll be on it with him. So like I said, I am not going anywhere, guys. What we are going to do, though, is give you a heads up as to whose footage that is. We'll post up in the description or the uh, comments. We'll do like a featuring uh, myself, Cutter One, Cutter Twenty Eight, or Booker One Forty. So that way, you guys have a heads up as to who's doing the footage, and if you want to stick around and watch it, we can go from there. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see what else Booker's going to bring to the channel too. He's uh, playing some Dark Souls, like I said earlier. He's going to get into Assassin's Creed with me as well. So CSI's got Assassin's Creed on order, as well as uh, the Hitman gameplay is going to be coming soon too. So. We'll see what we can do. Lots coming to the channel, but definitely more Ghost Recon, especially with the DLC coming out, guys. I am not going anywhere, like I said. So if you joined it because uh, yours truly is here capturing all this great footage for you, I am not disappearing in the slightest. So, guys, I hope you are enjoying what you're seeing so far, and you'll stick around for what Booker's bringing, too. I'm just tossing my sensor out here, guys, and what you're going to see is this guy coming up. Now he's in red. Look at him bending down. I see that myself pop around the corner, take a few rounds, and down he goes. Now he set up a turret there, so I'm guessing he was the engineer. I do have the option to get into the turrets as well, but I like to carry, like I said, the field computer and the sensors. So just my style of gameplay, I find it helps the team a lot better than uh, using some of the other techniques that the guys are using themselves. So these guys know what they're doing. They can... They can fire off their own rounds to take care of the enemies themselves. I'm just like there to help point out a few guys for them. That's all. Just try to alleviate on some of the guesswork. That's all. So the crew and I are heading down to a Sony event in Toronto today, guys. That's right. We are Canadian if you don't know this yet. So we are going to see what we can do to go down there and talk to some of the developers. They're going to have a few games on display. They've got some PlayStation All-Stars happening. Some little big karting. And a few others, I believe. 
There's going to be Ubisoft, Activision, a bunch of the other guys there. Some huge developers. So we're going to go down there, see what we can do to maybe talk to some of these guys. Maybe get an interview or two if possible. Bring that on to the channel. That would be pretty cool. We're going to see what else we can do to talk to them about getting into some tournaments and start hosting some of that as well. I think that's something I think a lot of people are lacking, especially for some Ghost Recon. There is currently one up on the Ubisoft site. So we're going to see what we can do to possibly get into that. I wouldn't mind hosting some for our own as well. Our site should be live in about three weeks, I want to say. So in that time period, we'll have some more videos. We're going to have a couple reviews, some beta reviews. Um, I know a guy, a buddy of ours, is working on a DayZ review as well. So I hear that's quite the game. I'm not a zombie kind of guy, but this is just taken worldwide. There's a lot of people playing this game. So uh, like I said, the, the guy's going to have a review up on the site for that. And we're going to see what we can do to start hosting some tournaments on the site. That's why we're doing this, guys. We're going to get into some live tournaments as well. So big plans for this. So we'll see what we can do to bring that to you. In next week's videos, guys, I'm going to talk about how the holiday event went. We're going to talk about what we saw, who we talked to, and I'm going to see if we can get any photos and such to post up. Maybe within the video or when the site drops, we'll have them on there as well. So now... I see that the intel is about to wrap down. I'm just kind of going back and forth. We're stuck here in the corner. Just kind of set up around the perimeter, making sure we're covered. There's Cab up top. You can see him in the green highlighted. So he's just holding down, giving us a heads up. He can see who's coming across the map from his side. We got this side covered, and I'm just going back and forth, making sure no one sneaks in from the alleyway over here on my right-hand side. This is where Arkham covered my ass earlier. Now, the intel is going to... There's Arkham. He just spawned back in. Now the intel, when this wraps up, you're going to see me head across because I know where the intel has been dropped already and I'm just waiting for the next spawn point for that to come in. So I'm going to sit there and I'm going to camp and hold out. I'm just picking off a few guys here. Now I have switched my gun back to the L22A2. I wasn't currently using that, but with Arkham's help and a couple of the other guys, we fine-tuned the gun a little bit better to more, towards more of uh, my gameplay and it helped me lose out some of that recoil that I find I was having a problem with before. So it's working a little bit better. It's more practice with that and then I'll definitely be back on track with where I want to be. It's almost like using the scout. So I will be going back to scout. Definitely want to get him leveled up. There's a few game modes where I find the uh, the engineer isn't really all that necessary. I'd rather use the scout. So we'll be uh, trying to get him leveled up. I'm still pretty low but I'm at level 49 now with the engineer, so I just want to get him to that extra level, level 50. And once that happens, I can use my L22 for the Ghost team as well as the Bodark team. So definitely trying to get to that point. And I'm just heading over in this side. I see Arkham's over here. Unfortunately, he got a bad, bad bounce on a grenade from a guy. Hit the top of the pipe and landed right on Arkham. And that took him out. There's Cav up top. You can see him lighting it up, holding guys down. So I thought he'd swing over this side trying to help out there's guys on the left side of the map so i thought i'd come over here on this side of the map just make sure we're kind of spread out on both sides that way no one can get down the middle and flank us at all as i mentioned earlier we're just kind of going back and forth back and forth just trying to make sure we hold it down right there's cab you can see him lighting it up off in the top right hand corner here look at the bullets just flying this is what he cab likes to do right he likes to sit up top on our balcony there and suppress those guys now our whole team has worked to this end. Now the spawn point is way off in the back there, but if we hold up right here, we can pretty well pin them down to their spawn. So this is what we're doing, we're just holding our own, we're working it back and forth, back and forth, making sure they're not getting anywhere. Now the intel just let go, so this is where I'm camping guys, because I know if I'm lucky, the intel will go right here, right in front of me. So that's what I'm doing, I'm just sitting here waiting for the ne next intel to drop in. Now it does drop in behind me, and... I don't know why, but I go way off to the back. There it is. So there it drops, right? There's a ladder right there on my left. I don't know where the hell I think I was running to, but I went further down. I know there's a ladder over here, too. So as I'm heading up here, I said, okay, I'm at it. There's Cav up on the right-hand side. And then Brock's chirping. You see Brock right there up on the right-hand corner? He's asking for it. He says he never gets it. So I'm like, yeah, no problem, dude. It's all yours. You want it. We've got this. There's no worries here. So we'll let him take it. So guys, the video is wrapping up. Thank you for watching. I am Cutter28 with the 4 Next Level Gamers channel. Please hit that like button if you like what you saw. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, guys, I am Cutter28. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next level. I'm out.